the, the church that I went to, and, and the church that Napoleon was a member of, you know, really rallied around us. Prayer changes thing. Uh, it's, it's no situation in this life that you can go through without God's grace and mercy guiding you through it. And the uh, church prayed with us, for us, and you know, and uh, that brought us all close together. It, it really did. And uh, my, my pastor, he, he had us to start up prayer vigils in the home, mm -hmm. and uh, we would we would just just put it out there and tell anybody to come that wanted to come. And some nights we'd have so many people in the house, <laughs> we wouldn't have chairs for them. You know, we'd have 30, 40 people in the house some some nights. You know, we started in probably ninety six. Uh, once a month, we'd come together and we'd pray. And we did that all the way up in, up into 2002. And there was just different peoples in the in the community. They wasn't all. It was it was about ten that you know was going to always be there no matter what. But you know every every month it would probably be uh, it would be a couple of different faces come up show up you know, and uh, so we had a lot of support from all different type all different people in the in the community, and. You know, if it hadn't been for that, we wouldn't have got through it because uh, there was some nice, sometimes that we were down, that uh, just having that prayer vigil helped lift us up and help, carry, help us to keep going on and keep fighting the situation. And I thank God uh, really answered our prayers, you know, we brought a lot of attention to the case, you know. We got a lot of help from people, not not just in this community, but uh, you know his story was put on CNN, and uh, you know the story well it went across the waters, you know, and so I think all of the, that you know the co community support that we got through that helped us to survive this ordeal.